all right hey guys what's up it's wolf you're wondering only how all my adventures doing welcome back to devlogs yes this is devlog number 13 hopefully some of you guys enjoyed <laughs> me uh streaming on youtube i said i'm dual streaming again so i'm both on youtube and twitch now again it's been like a few years well yeah it's been like actually a long few years since i've been on youtube streaming Seems like they finally fixed the whole, hey, we broadcast the last four hours of your stream. Well, we upload the last four hours of your stream. It seems like it's the full video now, which is great. So it actually makes me want to, you know, dual stream now. But yeah, no, I didn't expect it to just, you know, be all over the place. I kind of expected it to, you know, Let's just say I was I was very uneasy going back to dual streaming, <laughs> but it, I got used to it like halfway through the stream. So I didn't know really what I wanted to play that day. So I'll fix it next stream, which will be Saturday and Sunday. Yes. Anyway, to the devlog. Today we're going to be adding the scripts for moves, which is like battle moves, stuff like that, like tackles things yes those things we're gonna be scripting those i can actually start this now this is actually originally a 40 minute video just because of the coding that it took and don't think that i'm just doing this and that's it i'm just copying like what he's doing in the videos i'm actually doing my own thing as well I'm actually just still looking around the internet, learning new things and new ways to, you know, make the game better. So it won't just all be game devs experiments videos teaching me how to do things. It will also be other things. Also, I didn't completely like copy everything he has in the game. Well, it has in his game he's making or make a tutorial for. As you can see, this would normally be PP and this would normally be accuracy. I changed this to chance because, you know, I want my game to tell you that you have a chance of this going off and mana. It just seemed more appropriate for like monsters, you know, using manas, even if it's like a normal attack, like a punch, you know, they could probably use mana. Let's just go with the theory of they're using mana to enhance their, you know, punches. So. You know, making like a bite, you know, hurt more than it normally would without mana. Let's go with that logic. Yes. Hmm. Canon now. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm adding the same. I'm adding, I'm pretty much adding this to the same setting that we created for ourselves last video. For create Pokemon. But as you can see it's separated it's because i have a space here <laughs> that's the only reason it's separated because i have a space and i go back and fix it now so i subtract that space save it and now they're all in one area yeah as you guys saw there for a second <laughs> so now i have everything for the name description and their power the chance of it going off and the mana of how many times they can use the skill. How much mana do they have on that attack? I guess I could try and make a mana system instead. That's going to be a weird coding. But I just think this is more appropriate to, as of now until like later on. So I created five moves, just like he did in his video. Uh, arm throw, back kick, bad, bad bite, which is going to be Tigora's like, you know, starting off attack. He's going to bite people. Yes. 
Just like how I would do if you don't like the video. No, I'm just kidding. Leave a like or a dislike also if you guys are enjoying this series. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Leave a sub if you guys are willing to come with me on this journey to learn more about Unity. <laughs> or come on my journey and watch me learn Unity. I, I would say that. That's more appropriate because that's what we're all doing. <laughs> So yeah, 40 minutes of coding. Because I had to separately do everything. Their video was like 11 minutes long. Meanwhile, mine was like 40 minutes trying to figure out coding, making sure I didn't do anything wrong. Rechecking my codings. This needs to be capitalized. <laughs> if I ever see like any red, it's just like, oh, oops, I made a big mistake. I say me and my me and my uh my buddies have been playing Grand Fantasia. Most of you guys remember Grand Fantasia if you're like I actually it's been in their life for like ten years or so. Most of you guys know Vic Grand Fantasia. <laughs> made by X Legends. So I'm gonna be playing that with them grinding on the weekends. But I'll also be playing other things. Yeah, I'm gonna upload other things when I get the chance. I still have to upload my Outlast playthrough. But I will give you guys a little bit of a teaser. The next starter Monster Girl will be coming very soon. And I mean like very soon, probably next week or the week after that. So yeah, look forward to that as I'm looking forward to it. And now, I gotta make the coatings for the moves so it can, you know, process it right. So if I use the move, it will actually say, hey, you have this amount of moves left. Instead of just, you know, just spam the move over and over again. <laughs> this was actually a lot of fun to do, to be honest. I really enjoyed myself. Now the fun part is going to see if it works in battle and see if I coded anything wrong. Because the last two episodes you haven't really been able to like test anything. So I think the bat making like the actual like UI for the battle is coming up soon. Which I'm going to be doing a lot of photoshopping of like placeholders. Everything in this video or in this is placeholders. I'm just building the base game first. Then I'm going to start replacing a whole bunch of shit just so I know what I need to replace and change. And what I want. Got to build the basics before you start just putting all the maps together. It's not the same as fucking RPG maker. Just like, yeah, make map. Now put in the sim most simple shit. <laughs> But then again, I'm having way more fun with Unity than I am uh, RPG Maker because I'm going to run into complications and in trying to figure out and learn things. You know, tackling that challenge. Thankfully, I'm I don't have deadlines or anything like that, so I'm just chilling, making it at my own pace. Otherwise, if you're an actual game developer and like a publisher, you have a deadline, so it also stresses the amount of stress that you go through through that, yeah, I, I, can, I can understand that for sure. I don't want to go through that stress right now. <laughs> I'm still in the baby stages, baby steps right now. Complete and utter baby steps. Right now, I want to get the starters done before I actually start working on trainers and stuff like that. Which trainer designs are going to be very interesting. Remember, this is an etchy game, so a lot of etchy things are going to be in there. But there is one thing I want to do. I want to try and do... I think I talked about this before. Did I? 
I'm not sure. But I want to try and do the whole novel thing to where there's a when they're talking to, you know, an NPC, your main character pops up on the left and the NPC you're talking to pops up on the right. And I want that kind of animated a little bit. That's going to be the fun part of trying to figure that out, uh, how to do that shit <laughs> without fucking up my coding. <laughs> So that's going to be quite the interesting tackle that I have to go through later. Alright, my generate moves are done. So this code is basically to stop my to stop anyone from using over four abilities. You know, classic Pokemon. I might change this. And have it more in a different fashion? It's either between, hey, your monster girls can know all the moves that they learn and keep them. Or I'll just do the whole classic thing of four. I'm not too sure yet. But, uh... No, 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 I don't need to think about it now. <laughs> Just get the basics done, and I can go back into coding and change some things. And that's in. It's only funny because I sat here for a while. Whoops. Okay, it's only funny because I sat here for a while trying to figure out what the fuck was going on here. Because of this error right here. When I clicked this, it went to this. To line 22. I was thinking, wait a minute, did I type something wrong? It's telling me line 22 is wrong. But it's not actually line 22. It's actually, it's actually this, it's actually line 18. And as I, to try, as I uh, backspace the S and put the S back, sooner or later it, well, I did something and it sooner or later told me it was line 18, which I didn't put the endings here, the dot comma. The colon. That thing. Yes. Anyhow. Yeah. That, that's pretty much it. I've coded everything. And now I wait into tomorrow. Yes. It is currently... Well, technically 8 p.m. I need to sleep. So I can wake up in the morning. And get Thursday over with. And I am off Veteran's Day, so there probably could be multiple videos getting done of the game. Or I might do a long stream. Who knows? But I'll also give you guys this goal. If we make it to 3k subs, I will do a 12 hour stream on the weekend. Or if I actually catch up with, you know. <laughs> Um, game devs experiments videos <laughs> I'll do a whole 12 hour stream of coding in Unity and figuring out all this stuff and getting everything situated so yeah it's, it's just going to be like a live stream of me listening to him and his videos and you know learning some of the coding and stuff like that if that's something you guys are interested in, let's get to 3K and it'll be a 12 hour stream. And you guys get to watch me play around in, U in Unity and inside of um, Photoshop. <laughs> well, like I said, tw 12 hours or until I'm like completely caught up with his videos, which would be like 130. Right now, I'm on like, which one is that? I am currently on 7. 
<laughs> yep, I'm currently on seven. If you guys also want to use like any of the co non copyrighted songs as well. Oops. I do have a list over here of the non copyrighted songs that you guys can listen to. As of the moment, I needed background music just because it's it's weird commentary, commentating with no background music. <laughs> so I'm going to be deleting the background music from this session and started adding in, you know, actual. Well, I'll start at it. I've been using overworld theme. That's what you guys have been hearing in these past few videos, just because it's the most peaceful one. And I'm going to have more made. It's just time and money <laughs> uh as i said a fortis fiber project ah shit okay i'm all over the place let me stop and regather myself so this is a fiber project which is pretty much me hiring fiber people to make art or music for the game while i'm coding it just so it can take a little bit of the art and music stress off me, for one, and to promote like any, you know, Fiverr artist or musician who makes stuff for me. So yes, they're all gonna be all the people that I use throughout all of this. Any person I like use in my game, I will be promoting. If you guys see an individual video of like, hey, music, see, as you guys to see, made the music. So I'm going to put that in there. With that said, but yeah, as I said, if you guys have never checked out Fiverr before, it is a great place to hire like freelancers. And it's a great place to find talented people. And yes, I have a lot of tabs. Shut up. I, there's a lot of Unity things that I'm actually looking at. All right. My brain. <laughs> Knowledge. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm just rambling on. And so then, peace out.